Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Astroneer. I'm Joe Mommy, your host. And we are back at our little fledgling base. Now, I took the liberty of doing a little bit of activity while off camera. So I was able to get a whole bunch of stuff saved, a whole bunch of uh, materials harvested. And you're going to see I got ammonium, I got ceramic, some exochips. I don't know, did we have those before? I don't remember. Yeah, I think we did. We collected those in that crate. And uh, also, I've been getting some science done. So that's happening. And let's see, we got some zinc. Okay, I managed to find some zinc. So let's go for a little walk and I'll show you where I found it. Because that's important. But also, uh, let's take a look here. And because we found zinc, that allowed us to finish up the uh, the mod, the boost mod and the drill mod. So I was able to get those done. So let's go ahead and collect those rewards. So we got a soil centrifuge. This is something I've never used. Refine, okay, smelteringly, refine aluminum from laterite. So we gotta find some aluminum. Okay, so let's, uh, ah, dang gummit, hit the F. All right, let's unpack this thing. Let's see what we got. And used to extract natural resources from soil, draw six units per second of power while active. So we would need a large platform to put that on. All right, so we don't need that right now. And besides, we don't really have a crap ton of power. We've got a couple of wind generators and I don't think we have any solar to speak of. Okay, so I think another one of our goals is going to be, aside from getting this stuff done. Let's see, do we have any anything new that came up? Active, that's complete. What about active? Okay, um, we can keep complete closed. Lights in the distance, discover a gateway chamber. Like I said, we're gonna get to that. Okay, unlock glow sticks, unlock power cells, unlock oxygen tank, and unlock dynamite. Dynamite, so we've gotta unlock that. We just have to unlock it. Which shouldn't be too hard. As a matter of fact, we might be able to do that right now. Eyes on lithium, so we gotta find lithium. But we gotta get it from Visanya or Novus, which is two other worlds. Let's see, Master of Unboxing. Unlock an Exo Research Aid Unit. We haven't done that yet? I guess not. All right, I, that's right, because we can find some laterite. We get that done. Smelteringly hot, refined aluminum from laterite. Got, got that. Okay, so what did we say? Advanced Explorer Kit. So let's see if we can unlock dynamite because I've been... Um, let's see, go to tab. We might be able to unlock it. We've been doing science, so this number, our number of collective bytes has been going up. So let's see, we may be able to unlock it. No, no, oh, we need 3,700 bytes in order to unlock dynamite, so. Nope, we've got some science to do before that can happen. All right, and let's see, do we have science collected? We do not. All right, so what do we have then for transportation? A tractor would be nice. Um, let's take a look, let's see what we've got. Small, let's see, uh, if we can get some kind of transportation, that would really help us out a lot. All right, uh, rover seat, tractor. It is unlocked. And so we would need two aluminum to make it. So, and trailer, compound and aluminum. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be something we're gonna shoot for. We don't have to unlock it, it's already done, so we don't have to waste bites on it. That will be hugely helpful. But anyway, let's take a walk. I think it's along this stretch, but we're gonna find the cave that uh, I managed to find the zinc in. We're gonna do some exploring. Oh, do I have any, do I have any tethers? I do not have any tethers. No, we gotta get some tethers. Let's go get some tethers. I'm assuming we've got some available, right? Tethers, anybody, anybody? Maybe we don't. So that means I have to make some. All right, that's fine. That's fine, we'll make some tethers. So we just, let's see, Q into the pack. 
and I've already got the compound that we're going to need. You know what else we should do? What about an oxygen tank? Small printer tethers. Okay, let's make that. Okay, small canister. That's for soil. Oh, maybe we actually don't have oxygen tank. There we go. What do we need? Glass. What do we need for glass? We need quartz. Do we have any quartz that we can turn into glass? Negative. We got some ammonium, but quartz looks a lot like this, except it's pink. We might be able to find some in the cave. All right, so let's see what we can do. Let's follow this line of tethers to the end, and that should bring us to a cave. Oh, yeah, and any time we find these, let's harvest them up. I've already walked by a bunch. Okay, anything in the distance, anything that might be useful. Okay, well, there's some resin over there, but that's not what we're looking for. Oh, there's resin down there, right, in the cave. So, what have we? If we take our terrain tool, we can carve stuff out. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Have you ever seen this? Have I shown you this yet? Oh. We can find things under here to research. Also, you find these, excavate the dirt around them, it uproots them. Boom. There. Don't stand too close. It'll kill you. And you can take these seeds if you really want to. Set them down. And uh, you hit F. And you replant them. So we've actually, that's now a plant right there. We've taken that seed, turned it into a plant. So this is one of the research aids that we were talking about. This one requires a power input. Okay, but we don't have the ability to do that just yet. But there's some quartz. Let's get some quartz. I'm really surprised we didn't pick any of this up. I didn't pick any of this up while I was down here. Very strange. Okay, so we got quartz. So that'll take care of our oxygen tank. All right, let's see if there's any way we can find some aluminum. And in order to find aluminum, we need malachite or laterite. Laterite, okay. Now this is, what is this now? I think this is compound. Oh, there's our, okay. Well, Okay, so you can see there's some explosive crates nearby, but there's also that purple marker. That is a gateway. That's a, um, what do they call that? That's a, uh, that's a gate that hasn't been unlocked yet. So that's important to know. Let's turn that off, go to E. And that is, is this sphalerite? This might be sphalerite for making zinc. Okay, yeah, excellent. So we can make zinc. And you can, if you, if you take a look at the lighting right there, you can see there's another cave below it. So falling will kill you, just so you know. So let's start dropping tethers. Let's, let's do some exploring in this cave and let's make our way over here. I really would like, oh, too far, there we go. I really would like to find a deposit of laterite. We could do a lot by making some aluminum. That's going to solve a lot of our uh, a lot of our issues. If we can find some aluminum, that's going to help us out a lot. So let's look around. Oh, possibility. Yes, I think I see some. Okay, I see some. So that being the case, what have we already got in our backpack? We got a bunch of stuff in our backpack. But you know what? Let's get two. Let's get two nuggets. That's what they're called, nuggets, apparently. Okay, let's stretch that to there. See that blue off in the distance? You might have a hard time seeing it, but it's there, right over there. That's laterite. Oh yeah, and we, if we grab one, we can unlock that box right there. Why don't we do that? These tethers, you know, I could just run and grab this thing, grab some laterite, but if you do that, you really run the risk of getting lost in these caves. It is a real possibility. 
do not underestimate your ability to get lost in these caves. It will absolutely happen. Guarantee it. So if you, ha if you can somehow leave a trail of breadcrumbs, by all means do it. Okay, this is laterite. Looks like a stack of red and blue coins. Okay, that's one, two. Okay, so let's take one of these. Let's unlock this crate. I'll show you how that works. We can get that achievement done. There we go. It consumes it, pops it open. Master of unboxing, excellent. And you get this little thing right here. Kind of looks like a uh, centrifuge for separating blood samples, doesn't it? But go ahead, it says hold F to scan. And we get 500 bytes out of the deal. So, and that varies depending on what planet you're on. And sometimes you can find research items in the crate that you take to your research center and that'll give you a whole bunch of XP as well, or a whole bunch of uh, bites, say XP, whatever. Tomato, tomato, so that's phalarite, that is laterite. So let's see if we go home with two ladder. Oh, here we go, look at this. See, that's, this is another research item. It's about the same size, but they come in all different shapes. Just so you can see what I mean. Oh, is that a crate under there? What? Oh, it's another one. Oh, let's see, let's go ahead and take this other there we go. Pop. All right. What do you got inside you? Oh, same thing. Okay, so now let's refill our laterite. We really do want to take a good amount to the surface. I'd like to bring more than two, but it's all we have room for. We got a whole bunch of uh, quartz for glass. We can also use quartz for, uh, oh, look at this. There's another one. No, that's the lid. We could, okay, the lids, notice it says, uh, can be recycled into scrap. So these lids are gonna hang out until the cows come home, and you can just use them in the, uh, what do they call them? I can't even think of the name, but there's an actual device that will turn them into scrap. And the scrap can be traded for other more useful materials. So, don't underestimate their value. All right, uh, let's make our way back. Did this thing grow back? Was that not there before? Okay, let's, okay, we're gonna make our way back to base. Oh, and you know what, let's do this. It's gonna take time, but through the magic of editing, you won't have to deal with it. I'll pick up this bad boy right here and we're gonna take it back to the research center. All right, excellent. So let's see what this thing's gonna give us. Pop that in, examine. Wow, really? 563 bytes? That's lame. Okay, well, whatever. It's better than nothing. So that will do, oh, right there. There's the quartz. I knew it. So let's put it on the smelter. Let's make some glass. Now let's uh, oxygen tank. Let's go ahead and craft it. So this is gonna put more ox- it's gonna give us like a reserve of oxygen. There we go, so that'll fill up. That'll give us a little more range when we get off the tether. Let's go ahead and put the laterite down and the zinc, or the sphalerite. Okay, so we'll let that do its thing. And let's see if we can collect a reward for something. What did we get? A master of unboxing. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is a controversial little item. It's called the QT RTG, okay? Which I'm thinking QT just means it's cute, but it's a tiny little RTG, which I think G stands for generator. I'm not quite sure what the RT stands for, but we're gonna go ahead. Oh wait, nope, that's, that's not the reward we're looking for. Oh, Master of Unbox. Oh, they're gonna give us a buggy. Oh, beautiful. Oh, let's collect that. Okay, I was looking at the wrong item. Okay, look at this. We're, we talk about transportation. Here we go. Okay, so we got that. And, um, smelteringly hot, medium storage. Yes, we're gonna take that. All right, bait and switch, gather sphalerite. Yeah, sphalerite, that's for, um, that's for zinc. Let's go get some more. Let's go get some sphalerite. And we're gonna get this thing right here for doing it. And it's deliberately ambiguous. 
Moving and hauling. What's that? Print a tractor. We're gonna do that. Wait a second. Okay. Oh, we get a trailer. If we print a tractor, we get a trailer. Okay. Outstanding. Arm yourself. Print an auto arm. Store a resource with an auto arm. Okay. Oops. You know what? We're running out of oxygen because we're gonna die. I need to put a tether over here. Okay. We gotta just put a tether right here so we can stand here and do stuff. All right. Okay, let's keep, let's, my goodness, let's keep track of all the stuff that we, uh, that, that we've, that we have the potential of earning here. Okay, this QTRTG is actually a little controversial little item because it's a generator. It doesn't produce much, but it does so with no fuel added. In other words, it's basically free power. It's kind of OP, especially if you have them in great numbers, and they tend to hand them out when finding out in this game pretty handily. All right, um... Uh, Okay, one thing at a time. Let's F out of here. Let's take this buggy. Okay, what we need for the buggy is a power supply, which the QTRTG is excellent for. And then, but this storage supply, I want to take this. Okay, this I want because this is going to help us do things over here. There you go. It's just basically that just opens up the amount of storage we have and it gives us a place to put some of this stuff instead of just having it lie around man I wish I'd gotten that uh, zinc mission earlier all right so what we're gonna need to do is what was it we needed to do to get the to get the RTG thingy because that would be an excellent power supply for the uh, for, for the what you call it Okay, the bait and switch gathers phalarite. We're gonna do that. Move it and haul and print a tractor. Can we print a tractor right now? Can we just do that and get it over with? Um, I think we do it with this. Okay, Tra oh, rover seat, ooh, compound. Yes, let's print a rover seat. Need that. That will be useful in the buggy. Okay, so that's the seat for that. Now, where was the tractor? Tractor, two aluminum. Did we not bring home two aluminum? I'm pretty sure we did. Okay, one, two. Excellent. So, tractor, print me, baby. Okay, so the tractor's getting printed. And for that, we'll get a trailer. We'll take this seat, put it over here in the buggy. And you think to yourself, well, gee whiz, Eric, why the heck do you want to print two forms of transportation? You only need one, right? Well, there is a difference. Okay, the tractor is done. So we've got that. The tractor is done. So moving and hauling, let's go ahead and collect those items. Okay, bait and switch, gather sphalerite. We're going to do that. That's going to be our next mission. And all the while, now we you can use this, um, we can use this mission log to determine what it is we're going to do. That's fine. But all the while, we need to be thinking about gathering science, gathering bites and whatnot. Okay. Now, here's what I'm going to do. It has no power. I could get in both of these vehicles and I, I can't do anything because there's no power. So what we do is hopefully this is being charged. Okay. So we're gonna take that battery and we're gonna put it on this bad boy right there. That's gonna charge that up. Or we could do this. Let's go ahead, drive it. Ah, our first vehicle, haha. <laughs> All right, let's take the sucker around and let's actually park right here. Okay. And then we can take it and plug it in. We can do that. Now, right now, this battery is supplying power into the system, but it will backfeed as well. Okay, so that's being done. Okay, we've got our tractor. What next? We've got our buggy. We want to go get some sphalerite, right? Bait and switch gathers phalerite. Okay. The relocation package, what's that? Unlock and print a packager. We need graphite for that. But we can unlock it. We can at least unlock it. The only thing is... Oh, there we are. 
Oh, there we are. Let's unlock dynamite. Let's unlock the dynamite. We said we were going to do that. Let's do it. Right there. There we go. Unlock. There we go. That completes that mission. And this little thing right there tells us that uh, we've got something to collect. Advanced Explorer Kit. And there's... Oh, there's our power supply. Let's go ahead and get it. Boom. Right there. Now, what was the other thing? It said, okay, cracking caches. What's that? Find and explode an exocache. Oh, really? Oh, we, we did that the other day. We did that in the last episode. Daggummit. See, this is why you, you can't just dive into doing things. You got to kind of wait until you're told. It kind of sucks. Okay, the parts unknown. Print and install. Okay, shuttle. Got it. Okay, we'll do that another time. Unlock potential. Unlock 100 schematics in the catalog. Okay, so if I go to tab... Look at all these things that can be unlocked, okay? Every time I unlock one, the number is going to go up one. I don't know where we're at right now, but that it's, it's going to take us a while to fill that up. So we can put that to the side right now. So bait and switch, gather sphalerite. Now this, I want to show you this. This is the QT RTG. I don't know, really, really totally awesome generator i don't know but it's got when you set it down when you carry it around it, it just looks like this when you set it down it has its own little base with its little usb plug and that will supply the system you can set it like that it'll supply it on its own or you can attach it to a platform and it'll supply power that way but what is very useful is you can attach it here and it will supply power to a vehicle so let's make sure it's going to supply power to that. And what's our backpack look like? We got plenty of room. Let's go get some sphalerite. Now this buggy is a lot more agile than the tractor is. I'm going to tell you that right now. But you can use the buggy to go scoping things out, like right here. We can use we can mark this and get the tractor to come pick it up. Okay, use F to get out. And what is this? It's debris. It's garbage. Okay, nothing useful here. Okay, it's just garbage. Okay, and and when we're in the when we're in a vehicle, it has its own oxygen supply and power supply. I mean, we have to keep the power supply charged, but the oxygen it makes oxygen for us. So we it, we we don't have to worry about our breathing when we drive off in a vehicle. We just have to make sure it's powered. Okay, so let's see. There's our home so let's find the tether and let's get that sphalerite going all right let's see let's stop this right here and let's go find that sphalerite hmm I, I realize it's the other way but i'm just looking to see if maybe there's a handier deposit around here somewhere let me grab those okay grab some or minerals marie Okay, there's the quartz, which we don't need. Resin is nice, but we don't need... I guess we grab some of it. You know, why don't we do that? We can grab some of it. Grab some corn. All right. This is the sphalerite, is it not? I think this is. This is a sphalerite. Okay. Yep, okay, this is what we're looking for. Two, and we got room for at least one more. Yes, we do. Okay, that's three. Bait and switch is done. Now, let's see if we can fill out the last two with aluminum laterite. You can never have too much aluminum. <clears throat> Tell you that right now. Because one thing I want to aim for, <clears throat> which hasn't been addressed yet, this episode anyway, we talked about it a little bit in the last episode, but we haven't addressed it this episode, is trains. We, I want to get those going as soon as possible. We're going to need aluminum to do it. And resin. Where are we at? 1,000. Okay. 
I'll tell you, trains are almost OP themselves. They make cave exploring so much easier. Okay, let's go. Okay, we see where the base is. Let's just take the roundabout route here. Let's just see what's... Take the long view here. Oh, look at this. Okay, there's solar. Let's go put that right here. Uh, so that's a little solar cell. Oh, we and one of the things we need to make is a packager, right? So we need graphite. So let's go up into the mountains and see if we can find graphite. Maybe. Is there the chance we could do that? Okay. I do not see any graphite. Graphite will look like dark spiny things poking out of the dirt. And usually they're found on this planet in the mountains, but they can also be found in caves. Okay. Oh, what do we got there? That is malachite. That's copper. That's copper. Okay, good to know that that's there. Good to know that that is there. Okay. Yeah! Get some! Okay. Okay, let's go back. Now notice that the, uh, that the solar thing is phototropic. It actually follows the sun. Kinda cool. Okay, so we are collecting our prize for bringing back Sphalerite. Well, first of all, let's go, before we actually collect the prize, let's open up some space in our inventory by dropping this stuff right onto the smelter. What you got? Oh, bait and switch, gather Sphalerite. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm remembering this now. Okay. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let's see. Kronos, please deploy at a safe distance from the launch pad. You can kind of see what shape it is. Okay, let's grab it. And let us go out a little bit of a distance. I'm actually going to set this up. Where is the nearest gate? Have we seen the nearest gate yet? I don't think we have. That's the nearest gate. How far away is it? Let's drive. I'm gonna learn from lessons I learned, or I'm gonna employ lessons I learned last time, last game I played. What is going on here? What the hell? Why are you so far up? Never seen that before. Oh, that's graphite right there. We'll grab that. What the heck? Well, that's a complication. That is a severe complication. Huh. You know what? We'll work with it, though. Usually it's at ground level. You'll see. We'll, we'll find others in the game. You'll see it's at ground level. But what we're going to do is we're going to set this up here near the gate only because I want to move my base on this planet to somewhere closer to a gate. I just, uh, I don't want to move it close to that one. It's so far up like that. That's strange. Okay, but this is graphite. We're going to grab that. Okay. There, graphite. So what we're going to do, not power cells. What about a packager? Have we already got a packager unlocked? Let's check it out. Okay, let's actually get closer to here so we don't run out of oxygen. Let's tab, small printer, and let's look for a packager. I'm not entirely sure we've unlocked it yet. Alignment mod? No. Small generator? Small battery? Packager. There we go. Let's unlock it. And, okay, if you saw that, it said unlock schematics. That's good. So let's go ahead... And that jumped, the number jumped from 40 to 41. So we have 41 of the 100 unlock schematics we need. So now let's go back to this um, queue. And let's see if we can unlock our packager, right? That's power cells. Right there, packager. This should complete one of our missions. Boom, relocation package, there we go. Okay, hop in. Okay, shred, scrape, trade, got it. I, if we're going to build near a base, I, or near a, a gate, I don't want it to be near that one. Let's go back to our home and let's extend in a different direction. That's disconcerting. Whoa, okay, whoops. That 
could have been dangerous. Okay, so that's north. Okay, so let's continue in this direction. Let's see if we can find another gate. Oh my goodness, there's another one in the mountains. Well, shoot. Not the easiest things to get to, are they? When the first two we look for on the planet are in the most inhospitable, hard to get to terrain ever. Okay, well, you know what? Okay, we can get there. There's nothing we can do about it right now, but in order to do what I want to do to those gates, we need trains, okay? We're not there yet. But I wanted to plant this item that we've got close to the gates, but you know what? I'm thinking maybe we're good. We're good where we're at, because clearly the closest two gates, we, they're not exactly, um, they're not exactly ready-made to build next to. The terrain is way too rough to hope to build in a, a, uh, a very elaborate base. Okay, what do we got? I see this. Another... Another wind generator, we'll take it. All right, and hop in. And look what we've got here. Okay, these little ruins, you can find all kinds of great stuff to include. Okay, usually they're on the inside. I might have to come back here with a tractor. Look at that, packager, scrap, ceramic, copper. Do we have any copper yet? I'm not sure we do. Dynamite, there we go, we got some more dynamite. And a solid fuel jump jet, more packagers. Oh, this is rich right here, this is a good one. We're gonna have to come back here with a tractor. Um, I don't have a marker beacon. Um, but, you know what, um, okay, let's swap out. We're gonna take the dynamite with us. Let's swap it out. Oh my gosh, are you, are you kidding me right now? Okay. Swap that out. Boom. Take the dynamite, put it on our chest, or put it in our uh, backpack. All right. We'll come back here with a tractor. Let's take a note of where it's at. So it is to the northwest of our base, if we can just remember that. Okay, let's get us pointed in the right direction. Okay, let's set this thing up near our base. Not too close, but close enough. All right, pop this sucker out. Cannot activate until drilled into the terrain. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, shoot. Right, okay. So we need to get power to this thing. And all will become clear. But one thing at a time. Got it set up. Let's see what this thing is going to give us. Okay, rewards. Strange object. Place activate strange object. Power cells. Got it. Relocation package. Unlock picture packager. Medium shredder. Okay, so we have a shredder. That makes scrap, and scrap we can use to trade. So let's go ahead. Let's put it right there. And then, strange object, one power cell. Okay, great. I don't use these things for anything. I'm gonna put it right there. It'll disappear on its own. But you know what, I this beacon we should take because we should mark things. All right, um, I've got this wind generator that I don't need. Put it right there. Also, we've got this solar panel that we collected. Let's get rid of that. Well, not get rid of it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and plant it someplace. Uh, so the question is, can we, do we have the ability to make any trains at all? Uh, buggy. It doesn't look like trains are on the list, which means we have to unlock them. All right. And that would be under, not the small printer, but the medium printer. No, the, yeah, the medium printer. And we have no 
no bites left with which to trade anything in. Okay, so for the rail engine, we need a thousand. For the carriage, we need 1,500. Figure that out. That doesn't make any sense. So here's what we're gonna do. Let us hop in the tractor. Where's the tractor? We plugged it in somewhere, right? Didn't we? Yeah. Let's hop in the tractor. See, so disconnect. Is it dead? Oh, it's totally dead. Okay. So let's grab the RTG. All right, let's go this way. Pick up some science. I really wish you could grab things while in the driver's seat, but you can't. Let's bring this back and let's do science with it. Get it to work. Okay, that's happening and let's F it. Only 448 bytes, that sucks. All right, let's see if we can find another one. And indeed, there's another one. Okay, just out of curiosity, what what is the description of the power that needs to be supplied to this thing? It's inactive, okay. Oh, it needs a Xeno ch or Exo chip, doesn't it? Doesn't it need a chip? I think it needs a chip, but we'll get there. All right, more research. And let's take a look. Oh, jumper cables, what is that? Okay, provide power to the lab. Rexing leads its internal power recharge. Find it working. Okay, the bonus will be 250. Da da da, breath of fresh air. Install an oxygenator on the lab. Must be regenerated. Okay, so we need to create an oxygenator. We need power. So question, Does will any power do? For example, can I take this little wind generator thing? Oops, no, not you. Okay, we'll take that. And what's required to make an oxygenator? I think we need ceramic. Oh, maybe we need this, okay. Uh, or do we make an oxygenator with this? We might make it with this. Oxygenator, ceramic and aluminum. Okay, got aluminum, got ceramic. Okay. Make that. Now. Let's go back over here, and let's see if we can simply put this wind generator down, if that'll help supply power, or does it need so certain, um, does it need a certain quantity of power? It didn't specify. Oh, yeah, it's filling up. Got it? Boom. Okay, so we got that. And let's grab the oxygenator. Okay. So they're not too picky about the type of power. That's great. Oxygenator. There we go. Breath of fresh air. Got it. Done. So those are two more rewards we can pick up. Ah, know thy gastropod. There we go. So we're going to start exploring and searching for creatures on this planet. Okay, so let's collect the bites. Okay, breath of fresh air. Installs. Okay. Install a few more. Know thy gastropod. Use a data log to activate the lab's tracker. Well, shoot, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, since we're here, let's knock it out. Uh, right? Okay, activate tracker. Okay. Did that. Kill the shells. There we go. That's what I was looking for. We might be able to knock this one out as well. Okay, so no light gastropod. We'll collect oxygen filters. Okay, now the shells. Collect five of them. Watch how easy this is gonna be. This is why I didn't pick them up right away for this mission specifically. I wanted to save them for this mission. We're just gonna find five of these. And we should have no trouble if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. We should be able to find them pretty easily. Especially in these woods. Done. Okay. Okay, empty terrarium. There we go. 
And so in order to use the terrarium, we got to provide it with soil, zinc, and a bounce vine seed. We can do all three of those things, I think, today. Okay, there's the terrarium. It's even got its own little feet. Um, I saw zinc. Oh, soil, soil, right, we got soil. Do we not? Uh, with this thing. Canister, put that there. Soil deposited, so we can fill this thing back up with soil, so that's the soil. Now we need zinc, which we totally have over, where is it? Zinc, okay. Didn't I just pick it up? Yep, right there, okay, the light hits it funny. So zinc and then a bounce vine seed. So we need to find a bounce vine, and I know where we can find one of them. I done seen it on the side of this hill, right over there. There's one. There's a few of them, actually. Oh, and look at that. Oh, look at that. We can collect this. And we have a we have a working wind generator right there, so I think we need to bring the tractor up here at a later date. Okay, so let's grab a seed, and let's take the seed. And let's bring it back. Actually, let's go ahead and take another seed. All right. Okay, let's do that. Okay, bounce vine seed. Dump that sucker right in there. So that completes the terrarium. Oh, oxygen thingy right here. So let's put that over there. Okay, so let's examine it. We got the terrarium so we can collect the small trumpet. Okay, this is important. It's all important, what am I saying? So if we take this, put it on the terrarium. This little guy shows up somewhere. So what we need to do is we need to go up to him and try to dance for him. Nope, we gotta come up with a good dance. Let's try number s number eight. Let's work backwards. Oh, he loves number eight. Excellent. Okay, so he's gonna disappear again. And he's gonna reappear somewhere else. Right over there. Okay, let's let's go get him. Let's bring this. So we know he loves dance number eight. We know he loves number eight. So Let's G8. He's loving it. Okay. So let's take our little terrarium, put it right here. Now it says hold F to befriend. And he will appear in the terrarium. Let's grab our horn. Okay, now this guy. Now that we've got him, we got this cute little guy. Well, first thing we need to do is... Um, we need to bring him back to the uh, to the lab. But once we get him, let's see, we can feed him once in a while. Okay, so we gotta verify that he is in fact a thing. So what we do is, we head on over with him in our back. We head on over to the lab. Okay, now since we've got him in here, cute little guy's in there. Let's go ahead, pop him right there. And we're gonna verify that he is a thing. Just gonna scan him. All his pertinent details are gonna be cataloged. Okay, so we verified him. He's good to go. Tracking power, okay. So let's... So now that we've got him, let's go see what we can do. Now, if you take a look, it says, greatly illuminates an area, so what you can do, his favorite food is the hisbane seed, hisbane, but we can give him a bounce vine seed. You'll see what he does. He eats it up, but then he illuminates the area around us, so you can't really see it during the day, but you can kind of see we sort of cast a shadow, but it makes it really bright at night. Extra bright, so it's got a perk, gives us a perk. So let's see, spot it to the xenobiology lab, we'll collect the bites, and guess what? We get another QTRTG. Okay, we fed him. Tracking power, what does that give us? Use the data log to activate the Xenobiology Labs tracker. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so we go here. 
Activate the tracker. Okay, now we could go through and read this, but we'll... Okay, Regal Escapers Terrarium. Okay, so we're going to come back and read this at another time. But as you can see, we got missions pouring in. We did this thing. And what it's telling us is we've got other shells to find on Desolo, 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 and Kalidor. Those are two different planets. Those are two other planets different from where we're at. So there are other gastropods on other planets, and they will provide us with different perks if we feed them. Okay, so we did that. So we get oxygen filters for doing that. And put that over here. Put our little... Oh, got it. Stupid thing. They don't land. They never land right side up. Okay. And so our next one is a gastropod has found its way to the barren moon. Find and scan its discarded shell. So basically do the same thing we just did, only on another planet. Same with Kalidor. So anyway, that tells us that we need to build a shuttle and get to another planet. But we're going to have to save that for another time because we are out of time. But this, I love this game, and I love the, the new stuff that it has. It's a freaking awesome. You know what, this thing? This, again, these things are so, so freaking OP, I think, because they're just free power. It's not a lot, but when you put a bunch of them together, you can put eight of them on a single storage. Oh, oh, come on. You can put eight of them on a single storage panel like this one, and it produces 12 units of power per minute. That's pretty good. Is that right? 12 units? Yeah, or eight. Okay, eight units. I thought that was uh, one and a half. But it's just one. So this provides eight units of power if you put eight of them on a pallet. So yeah, they're pretty OP. They don't require fuel. So pretty crazy. But you know what? Off to off uh, off camera, I'm going to clean this mess up because we left a mess all over the place. But we've got transportation. We've got our research lab we've got a tractor to go get stuff we've got legs now we can go explore this planet pretty in earnest and more than that we can start building trains and that i think episode three will start building trains so anyway if you liked it hit the like button hit the subscribe button it sure would help me out leave your comments love to hear your input you know i'm i don't know everything about this game and i'll learn anything from anybody who does so anyway you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.